All right, I'm here today with Bruce Linton. Uh, Bruce, thanks for taking the time to chat. Well, it was good. You kind of just hooked me out of the hallway, man. I, I, yeah, you're a busy guy. That's, that's how it has to work. Um, before we dive into the, to the whole cannabis side of things, obviously we have to ask, you know, what T-shirt are, are you wearing today? <laughs> yeah, today's shirt. So um, I, um, I've invested in a handful of companies, and yeah. I tried to think about themes yeah. and then find good companies on themes. And this one met the criteria. So what they're doing is essentially... They're looking at things that have been governed by prohibition, which haven't had appropriate scientific endeavors. Yeah. And we've raised a good chunk of money, and we're looking at another 75 total right. to actually do clinical trials to show combinations of things like uh, altered ibogaine as a way to actually yep. get people off of uh, opioids. Yeah. We're looking at dosage delivery mechanisms yeah. so that microdosing is truly micro. Yeah. And then, you know, what it is is just to say if, if you've been treated poorly yeah. as an ingredient, but you do, in fact, have an effect on the human when it's positive uh, as well, right? mental state, yeah. can we manage that? Yeah. And can we turn it into medicine? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And so how is, how is this company progressing so far? Obviously, well, a lot of hurdles to move through. So they've been around, uh, they're, they're, it's, what it is is an amalgam of several pieces. They've been okay. working at it for five or six years. Yeah. But they needed a home which had cash. Yeah. And so that's what we created. Um, and the reason I wore it today is uh, yesterday we had an election. Of in course. Canada. Yeah. And, uh, you know, liberals are still in charge, just a little less in charge. <laughs> but my message on the uh, media last night and today has been, um, great, we checked the box, we got... Canadian adult access done. We're not doing a great job as a country promoting our methodology of governance around the world. We should. Yeah. And then we should take the same logic of ending prohibition and enduring sort of the yeah. process of science. Science, for exactly. It's R&D. It has and to be science-led. And I'm not saying this has any kind of party effect. This is intended to be a therapeutic application. And... Uh, Push the markets. Yeah, absolutely. Is there any any timelines you think on on public uh, IPO or so anything I, I, like that? Yeah, I think this one may list as soon as this fall. Um, I mean, we're, we're in the fall. Yeah, right well, now. we've been raising money and yeah. we've been picking bankers and we've been pushing. Yeah. And the reason is there's a method by which you can list, which is essentially step into an existing shelf. Sure. Yeah. RTO. And uh, with this one, uh, we're going to use quite a lot of money. Yeah. And we're going to try and put a bunch of IP down. That yeah. um, Once you well, have yeah. IP in every space, I don't care if it's your delivery mechanism, it's combination of ingredients, clinical trial results, um, this is, again, a chunk of time where yeah. moving fast and first will help. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, and you saw that with, with Canopy as well. Yeah. And maybe switch gears to cannabis. Yep. Uh, right now, obviously, Canadian markets are struggling a little bit. Well, I, I think, think global last, markets. Yeah, but yeah. yeah well, global <laughs> markets, sure, yeah. Uh, and, I mean, la last struggle, I think you came in with a big constellation investment yeah. and really set the industry afire. What's it going to take this time to, to turn things around? No, good memory, because I, I think yeah, when we did that uh, August one, everybody was down. Yeah. And essentially, we re-rated it up 2 to 3x. Um, what will that happen again? I don't know. What is going to happen in the U.S. election? Who's going to take what positions at a federal level, medical and or rec? Yeah. So you so see like, federal legalization as the biggest well, catalyst? Well, I think a state rights is fine. Yeah. I don't think they have to federally legalize. I think they have to federally acknowledge. Okay. Yeah. And so I think that would re-rate it. Um, I think maybe some of these companies doing scientific endeavors that are going to actually have clinical results, yeah. reading out dosage and delivery mechanisms for results, if yeah. it works, yeah. there's going to be a bunch of people that said, see, I told you, and I want that. Yeah. Um, I think you're going to see other pharma companies come into the space when those results I just described happen, and yeah. or uh, I continue to think uh, geriatric care environments yeah. are mega pill Huge, markets. Huge, yeah. Huge pill markets. Like, if you're a pharmacy company, the reason you make tons of money is you go see grandma and grandpa, they have a little tray, right? And it has like, today's Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. And here's I remember the six just pills I take over yeah. the course of the day. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Now, if that became cannabis, there's going to be pharmaceutical companies that say, I'm now in that space. Yeah, I'm now interested, And right? I think that would be a big catalyst. Because they're going to be pushed out as well. Big catalyst. Even with the psychedelics yeah. as well. Yeah. So on the cannabis side, obviously, you've, you've associated yourself with a few uh, yeah. few companies. I'm not, not sure exactly the degree so I got, of involvement. Like, um, I'm oh. executive chairman of one in Michigan called Gage, Gage USA. Right. Yeah. Uh, Gage, you know, Michigan is going to be a very interesting market starting yeah. January. These guys have a very strong platform. Yeah. Uh, I'm involved with a, a brand house called Slang and yep. slang okay, products. Course, like, yep. Increasingly, people just want, get rid of the bullshit, give me the product. Yeah. And I want to know that it's at least consistent. I want to know that it fits into a form factor I trust. So yeah. slang's got that. Uh, DNA is a private company. They've done a great job of genetics and growing, and I like them. Yeah. Um, been very active with a company called the Better Choice, BTTR Choice. Uh, okay. And it's, a, it's basically a currently good revenue margin dog yeah. care products company, okay. which we're going to direct to consumer. But then we're yeah. going to overlay a bunch of research and acquisitions okay. related to CBD real dosage. Okay. And so yeah. um, 
That's big I continue right now. to think that you have to have in that sector trusted customers already yeah. who want better answers for their dogs. That's what they yeah. have. Yeah, my, so, my, my dog at home takes CBD because of an issue, health issues. It's, it's, right. it's helped. But wouldn't you love to know the exact dosage? Yeah. Uh, wouldn't you love to know time of day for application? Yeah. Maybe there's a couple other ingredients you want with yeah. it. Um, and the next thing you know, you're at a level where you became evangelical because you've yeah. got this information outcome source that you trust. I think yeah. better better choice is going to be that. Yeah, no, absolutely. And so you listed a few companies. I have to ask, do you have a favorite? Um, so the two that have had the most active response yeah. has been Better Choice and the Psychedelic. Okay. And it's just because um, they're a little bit more at the edges. It's not right up the middle. Yeah. Um, you know, people don't realize, like, when I talk about Gage, people don't get, like, Michigan's a massive consumption state with a very limited supply chain. Yeah. That's a big deal, but people's imagination struggles to get their head around slang. Right. And it's a great story, but people can right away go, I have a dog. You yeah. did it, right? Yeah, no, no, and exactly. people can right away go, so the psychedelics might help with, like, uh, suicidal uh, intent in depression. Yeah. yeah. That's important. Okay, yeah, do yeah, that. absolutely. And so um, I'd say the two outliers were those, but... Um, you know, they all come and go at stages because where I like to go is where they need money and they have a challenge. Yeah. And no, that's um, true. so if it's my favorite, it might not be yours, yeah. right? No, that's fair. That's very fair. Well, I appreciate you taking the time okay. to chat today. Thanks, Thank you man. very much. I appreciate it. Say goodbye.